with buff colored cheeks, a furrowed neck, a face, a cap, and a high neck draped in satin black. The Ne Ne is a majestic animal worthy of being named Hawaii's official state bird, and more importantly, a key symbol for native Hawaiian wildlife. Like many native animals, the Ne Ne, named for its soft honking call, was brought to the brink of extinction due to habitat destructions, overhunting, and predators such as the mongoose and feral cat. Nene were once extirpated, means completely extinct from the island of Maui. In 1962, the state began re releasing Nene back to Maui from a small flock from the big island. And they released the Nene up here at Haleakala because at that time there were very little predators. We let them go populate on their own, and today there are about 300 nene at Haleakala. Although there are fewer predators at the higher elevations, the environment at the Haleakala National Park creates other challenges. At Haleakala, in order to keep the population going, we, we've had a lot of researchers come through. And what we found out was that at Haleakala, the adults do well, but the goslings don't because it's too cold. Although Maui's population of nene is still low, that's not the case with the nene population on Kauai. Population increase is a good thing, right? Not if it poses a threat to human life. Unlike the Maui nene, about 400 Kauai nene have thrived in an area right between the two main runways at Lihue Airport. Due to the increased threat of a mid-air collision, Governor Neil Abercrombie has recently suspended laws regarding the Nene and ordered the translocation of all 400 Nene living at the Kauai Lagoons Resort to Maui and the Big Island. The translocation is just because the Nene are a potential hazard to aviation safety. The translocation of the Nene from Kauai to Maui definitely won't be cheap. First, you have to hire people to catch them. And they can't be just anybody because these are endangered birds. We have to have people that know how to capture and handle birds because we can't have Nene die. It's expensive to translocate due to getting them here by either air cargo or by some type of uh, air transportation. Once on Maui, the Nene are then translocated to the remote Waiopai area on the southeastern side of the island. Another cost factor in the translocation program is the construction of open and closed top pens that will serve as safe harbors for the nene. This is what we call an open top release pen. And the way that this is designed is we, we dig a ditch and we bury the wire approximately one foot in the ground. If a predator tries to climb up along this hardware cloth, they'll get electrocuted by this um, power line that we have but basically this pen is designed for putting in birds and letting them fly out, giving them time to acclimate to this area, to possibly to come back in this area and maybe nest in the site because it's protected, because it's predator proof. So it allows them to have a, a safe and a better survival rate of young. The nene will also be tracked using cutting edge technology. Since it's, there is a concern where they will go after they release out of this open top release pen, um, we are putting what is known as satellite transmitters on them. It has a solar panel in the front. So when it's on the back of the bird, which is basically between the blade of the wings, what it does is that now we can, instead of going out trying to find the birds and not knowing exactly where their location is, we can go on our computer and we can Google it and find out exactly where they're at. Only bad thing about it is it's very expensive. Is it worth it? The bottom line is that the nene are still endangered, and any effort to support their population can only help this proud symbol of our state. Our goal is to ensure that the population doesn't decline, because the nene is thought of as the most endangered bird. So we hope that we doesn't, it doesn't go into extinction. For the future of nene, I hope that eventually they, we can downlist them to get them off the endangered species list. Thanks to the efforts of the state and its residents, the iconic Nene will hopefully shine brightly among Hawaii's unique wildlife once again. From the Waiopai area on the island of Maui, I'm Nikki Davis reporting for Hikino.